Hello there, so on this video, I will be showing you how to use the software. Now, um, once you open your software, this is the first thing that you will see. This right here on the gray border will be our canvas. So uh, the size of our canvas is shown on the area below it. So we have 900 by 200, that's 900 pixels by width and 200 pixels by height. If you want to change the canvas size, just click on the numbers here or you can double click and type in anything that you want say for example i'm going to make it 800 pixels by width and then i'm going to make it 150 pixels by height so once you're done with that press enter so that it'll change automatically all right so that's it that's how you um customize the size of your canvas now let's start with um adding stuff to our canvas so let's start with text so just click on this text button right here and you will see that there will be a drop down with additional options for text so if you want to add a text just click add title and to edit this one just double click that and type in anything that you want now to change the font just click on the text be sure to have selected that and then under the type option click on this drop down button and choose a font from these ones so i'm gonna make it impact all right now to change the size you can either use the toggle button on the corners and drag that like that or you can also use the size toggle button right here Slide it to the left and to the right. And of course, you can just move your text to wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it in the center. To change the color of your text, be sure to have selected the text first. And then click on color. And pick any color that you want from this color picker right here. So I'm going to choose a red one. So here you go. I have my title now. Alright, so that's it for the text. Let's head on to graphics. Now once you click graphics, uh, there will be a drop down as well and uh, you will be seeing three buttons right here, the graphic shapes and upload image buttons. So under graphics, you will be seeing all these stuff. So we have um, uh, buttons and uh, bullets, arrows and stuff, a lot of things right here and you can just click on those. So for example, I'm gonna add a graphic from here. So um, maybe... Uh, I can't decide so this one so it's it's just gonna appear right away on your canvas so what you can do with your graphic is you can resize that through the toggle buttons and you can also rotate that like this when you see that rotate toggle option on your mouse you can click and then drag and rotate all right all right so I'm gonna put this right here and uh, so that's it for the graphic um another one are the shapes okay so shapes are vector images that you can put on your canvas so the thing with vector graphics is that how even though how much you stretch it or you can just shrink it it the quality of the image doesn't like blow or it doesn't get ruined because it's vector so i'm going to show you that so i'm going to put um, a shape i'm going to resize that All right, so I'm gonna put that here. Okay, another thing with the vector um, graphics is that um, you can change the color of these shapes to whatever you want. So to do that, be sure to have selected first the shape and then click on color and then choose any color for it in the color picker. I would want a white for that, so I'm gonna put it there. Now this doesn't really seem like it's working. So what I want to do now is to move the my header text up to the front so that it could be seen. Now to do that, I'm gonna use the bring forward option button and I'm gonna click that. And as you can see, it goes up one layer over and I'm gonna click it again. So it goes over the white shape that I have just made. All right. So let me just edit this a bit. 
Okay, now um, let's go back to graphics and uh, let's uh, try uploading our own image to our header. Let's, I'm, so I'm going to click upload image and then you can locate your files on your drive. Select your file that you want to um, insert on your canvas and then uh, just hit open. And it's going to insert right away. Of course, you can also move that around and uh, rotate. And of course, if you want to put it behind another layer, just hit on send backward. All right, so there you have it. Okay, so that's it with the graphics, and let's head on to the next, um, the next one, effects. Okay, okay, so under effects, you will be seeing pattern and light. So under pattern, you will be able to choose different patterns for your background. So I'm going to click on any of these so you can see how it looks and how it would work. So that's how the pattern works. All right. On the very first option, by the way, this is um, an empty background option. So if you click that, it's going to remove your background. And once you download this, this will be like a transparent background, less PNG. So um, I just want a gradient. That is a default one. All right. So I'm going to choose a gradient. Now that I've clicked the gradient, I am going to click the background and then click on color and then I'm going to choose any color from here. So as you can see, that is how you change your background color. So I'm going to do it again, click the background, click on color and select any color. So it's going to change right away. So that's how you change the color of your background. And by the way, this gray border right here is not included in the image that you will be downloading as this is only for um canvas purposes so you would see how how big is your canvas so let's go back to the effects uh, so you've seen how these patterns work and uh, how the gradient and the no background option works let's go to light okay so there are three types of light the smooth the sunlight and the bevel so if I'm going to click smooth, all right, so it doesn't really, it's not really that obvious. So I'm going to move this. I just selected the layer. It's going to show um, a light effect. It's, uh, it's still an image, but it's a light effect and it's over my tile. So I'm, what I'm going to do is to send it backward. And you can see how that works. It has something like a smooth glow effect. All right, um, I'm going to remove this one and let's head on to the next um, light option, light effect, um, sunlight. All right, so it shows right away. It's just like um, a regular uh, image that you have put on your canvas. So you can um, enlarge it or shrink it, rotate, just like any other image that you put on your canvas. So. But I'm going to send that backwards so you can see how that would work. So that's how the sunlight works. And then I'm going to choose the bevel for the effects. All right. So this is the bevel. It's going to... The bevel is like uh, making like a bevel glassy effect on your graphic. So... You can see how that will work. I'm going to send that backwards so you can see. So how that's how the bevel works. Send backward. All right. So that's how the bevel effect works. So it's really up to you on how you use these three effects. Um, it's really, really good for your background. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it on how you can add stuff and edit stuff on your canvas. Now, um, if you do... Uh, want to undo or redo you can always use these undo and redo buttons on the top left it will bring you a step back which i have just uh, changed the um layering here and then you can also redo if you want to go step forward what else is here okay um if you want to delete anything on your canvas um just 
for example, select on it. I'm going to select this white shape right here. And I'm going to hit, oops, I'm going to select this white shape right here. Oh, wait, it's not selected. Yeah, this one. Okay, to delete this, you can either click this delete button. Be sure to have selected the um, element that you will be deleting. And then click on delete. Or you can also hit delete on your keyboard. So I'm going to click delete right here. All right, so it's gone. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. If you want to preview the actual size of your header, just click on this preview button and it's going to pop up right like that. So that's the actual size of the header that I did. And um, just uh, click this um, close button right here if you want to go back to uh, editing. All right. Okay, well, so once you're done, um, you can save this work uh, by hitting this save button and uh, typing a name for it. My header one, maybe. All right, and then hit save. Now it's going to save an XML file that you will be able to open again if you want to edit this file again. So you can just uh, start from that. And um, if you want to save this as another file, hit on save as. Type a name for it and then hit save and it's going to save another XML file that you can use to edit this work again. Now, if you want to download the PNG file of this image, just hit download and then type in a name of your file and then hit save. So now that I've created my own um, header, I'm going to show you the templates. Um, these templates are really very useful so that you don't start from scratch. You can save the effort, the time, and of course, you can have good creativity coming up. So um, to do that, um, to use these templates, uh, as you can see, we have a lot of templates here. Just click on any of these. So for example, I'm going to click this last template. And it's going to load right away. And you can actually edit this. So, for example, the text, um, I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say, LA. So, these texts are very editable. The graphics, too. You can resize and rotate those. The phone, this phone. All right. So, that's um, actually for the templates. These templates are really very editable. So, if you want to um, select another template or just uh, you've changed your mind, you don't want this one, you want this taxi template instead, uh, you can just click on it and edit the texts. The shapes are very editable too. So uh, just uh, recall all those um, editing stuff that I showed you earlier and it's um, very, very applicable on these templates.